Hello squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the vexed question of the Zoom F6 and timecode. Let's start with uh, a Zoom F4. Uh, great machine but with an Achilles heel in timecode which is that the timecode is not battery maintained when you power down. So if you stop for lunch you will have a break in your timecode continuity and that isn't good. So when uh, Zoom came up with the F6, they came up with a kind of fix to that, which is when you switch off, the real-time clock keeps ticking, and when you power back up, it adds that uh, real-time clock differential to where the time code was at the point um, where you left off. So the question is, how accurate is that? And here there's a real health warning with this video, because I think when it, when it comes to the results, what I want to say is, how big a problem is that will entirely depend on you and your workflow and the project you've got in mind. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take some very aged kit like the Arton Origin C, which um, allows me to set and upload timecode to one of these, an ambient locket. And uh, the locket has got a very accurate crystal clock. And then I'm going to jam the F6 and the F4 to... Um, to the locket's time code and uh, see what the results are. So stand by for the results, which um, I've got in a couple of still frame pictures. Here we go. Here then is our first image. What we've done is we've taken the Zoom F4, uh, jam synced it to the uh, locket box and then left it powered up for nine hours. Remember, of course, if we if we power it down, that will break the time code continuity for the duration um, of the, the machine's power down state. So we've left it powered up for nine hours. And after the nine hours, the F4's time code ends in 52 seconds and eight frames, while the locket's time code ends in 52 seconds and six frames. And so there's been a, a mutual drift between them of uh, two frames. Now we're assuming that the locket is more accurate than the F4, although of course that isn't necessarily true. All we're saying is that there is that much drift while the F4 is powered up. So the the the, the F4, what the F4 can't do is, as I've said, if you break the power um, and return it off, you will break your time code continuity. Whereas in the F6, if you uh, power it down and power it back up again. Um, you will get the uh, real-time clock added to the timecode function to um, give you continuity in timecode. Here's the picture of the F6. Um, this has been um, uh, just been powered on after nine hours powered off following the same um, jam sync procedure to the same locket box. So now the F6 timecode reads 18 seconds and 04 frames, while the locket reads 18 seconds and 1 frame which means um, a total drift across the nine hours of being powered off of three frames. So the big question is, you say, Alistair, um, is that going to be OK for me? And I guess the answer to that is, well, it depends on your work, uh, your workflow, depends on your attitude to uh, sync and uh, how you're going to, uh, what, so how long you're recording for and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, but there are the facts. The uh, Zoom have uh, taken a great big step forward, it's got to be said, in terms of time code uh, continuity with uh, the F6. Um, um, thanks for coming to PPM6 TV. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, uh, this video. Uh, do leave a comment and come again soon. Bye for now.